Hello folks, Andrew Lee here for the Lazy Tech Guys, and today's review is on the Mad Cats Rat Tournament Edition. Alright, so I would have done this review earlier. Um, I've actually had the Rat Tournament Edition since March, since I kind of spoiled myself for an early birthday present in addition to a new uh, piece of hardware which I'll surprise you guys later with but um I actually got attracted to this when it first came out or was actually correction first announced in January of this year um, during uh, CES which Mad Cats made an announcement on this uh, new model or I would say special model because it only comes in black and blue um, mainly because it's designed with the PC gamer in mind as far as LAN events tournaments any type of high level competition so um, let's just get straight down to it this mouse is really really cool looking and it still maintains the rat heritage uh, as you can see when you actually see it in person now it might be a little hard because I know my camera is a little funky in focusing but uh, minus the labels and the coloring it still looks like a very much like a rat mouse from Mad Cats uh, the nice thing that I like the most out of it compared to the other two models that I've tried um, both of them not being rat actually one of them being rat but the other one being the MMO series is that uh, I don't know if you can see here, and you'll actually see it with like the Rat 9 uh, also, which is the wireless version of the uh, Rat 7. This one actually has a little toggle right here that allows you to adjust the palm, and it actually locks it into place. So it's actually really, really cool um, as far as you don't have to worry about having that palm adjust shift around while you're playing any type of game, whether it's a intense first-person shooter, uh, MOBA, strategy game, or even just everyday use in general. I mean, my hands are that, aren't that big, but if you're using, if you've got something slightly larger, yeah, it's going to be, you know, it would normally be a problem if um, that plate, that plate uh, move around. Um, also, this is actually kind of has that silicone coating on here, unlike most of the rat mice that I've seen that has the smooth plastic uh, coat which unfortunately it does attract a little more oil off of my hands and becomes kind of a dust magnet but it's easy to clean and it doesn't slip out of my hands at all alright so I won't bore you too much with specs but it does have a range from 100 to 8200 DPI which can be toggled through the mouse's uh, little dongle toggle right here has four different levels so say you're in a game and you want to switch up or switch down your DPI settings you can actually preset that through the built-in app that uh, comes with the software um, which they're not they don't usually include with a lot of technological devices nowadays so you'd have to download it directly from the Madcats website um, one notable thing of the design itself is that it's light very lightweight it weighs in at 90 grams which is actually the same weight that uh, my Razer Taipan weighs in so it's in that same class it's pretty cool um, knowing that you're not going to be bogged down with a heavier uh, weighing mouse but at the same time you can't there is no um, at least option to adjust the weight according to your personal taste so uh, it's a slight downside but it, it's meant to be sort of light and nimble I guess um, another thing too is that it also has a one millisecond response time uh, because it is wired in it does have also power settings that you can adjust that'll allow it to not uh, not suck up too much juice in use but at the, the, at the expense of performance um, it also has five million uh, click long life Omeron uh, switches so uh, I've never really had to abuse this that much, but I can say that 
just from that alone, it seems very, very, very durable. Um, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I've had this mouse since March and I've been using it every day. Um, gaming and not gaming purposes. All right, so I know you're here waiting for the big answer to the question, how does this score? Um, I'm gonna give it a four out of five, mainly because it's a decent mouse that has high level uh, construction, at least from what I can see. Uh, Non-slip uh, non silicone, also has a decent amount of tweaking features like 8200 DPI, toggles, convenient settings, keybinds, all sorts of different things that make it convenient for the gamer or inside a game, outside a game. And it doesn't, you know, lose pace at all. It keeps up with whatever you're doing. Um, the only downside that I can find with the Rat Tournament Edition is the software that comes with the mouse. Um, it, like I said, it's very simplistic and it's intuitive, but for, I would say, more of the core gamer, gamers are going to want more options to sort of tune and tweak around. They want more, they want to be empowered with more personalization as far as maybe like the hyper polling rate, things like that. Um, not to say that you can't do certain uh, changes to the mouse, like the, like I said, the DPI, but uh, compared to other software that I've tried, like Razer Snaps, uh, it, it gives you a little m more to play with. Um, but that might be implemented later on in an update or software change, vice versa. Um, so if you want to read more about my review of the Rat Tournament Edition, uh, this will be part of a official written review on the Lazy Tech Guys website, which will be posted below on the info section. If you have any comments or questions in regards to this review, you can contact us at comments at lazytechguys.com or you can call us at our 707 uh, office number, 707-722-5299. Uh, now, my name is Andrew Lee. This is the official review for the Rat Tournament Edition and we're signing off. <laughs>